Ladies and gentlemen. What? We're back at Rance 5D? Yeah, we're gonna check out some of the extra stuff just because I remembered last minute someone mentioned uh, it's kind of interesting. Um, so we'll see. We'll count this as a bonus Saturday episode. I'm guessing it's an Alice, yeah, Alice mansion. So yeah, let's let's get some lore. I don't think I've ever checked out Alice's mansion in the other games. Welcome to Alice's mansion. Ta ta. Notices important advertisement. Suspicious jar. Notices. This is the notice corner. Manual information. There have been several changes since the when the manual was. Re oh. And we got. Uh... Hey, I I bought it legally. Okay. I'm friendly. Whoa. Well, was that fun? It's not. Yeah, it's not. To ho ho. Yeah, we don't have the manual, so. You put a part of the original manual on the Manda Dimmer's blog. Okay. Various records. Here's your play data so far. Normal mode clear. Highest record 1305. Probably the highest store in the world. If I just had to guess. Hard mode A. Less time. Not cleared. Hard mode B. No saves. Not cleared. So these are the hard modes. How do you do no saves? You have to just beat the game in one day. It sounds kind of crazy. Unless they just mean if you die, it's like hardcore, so you just lose the file. Um, last time is also pretty hard. That's your data so far. Okay. Don't think that's what we want. Advertisements? We'll introduce some Alice-related products here. Please look through all of them. Just click through. Okay, sure. <laughs> let's, let's give them some free advertisements, I guess. <laughs> Evil ninjas are trying to conquer Japan by awakening ancient evil, and the only way to stop them is to get it on with your own group of ninjas. Grind your way through sheets, through the sheets to raise your party's stats. Fight ninjas, destroy evil castlers. Beat blades, Haruka. Okay, potential uh, new games, but probably not. The adventure continues, rant sits, collapse of Zeth. We're going to Zeth now. Okay, well, we're gonna need to do some censoring. God damn it. <laughs> uh, well, but I guess we're going to Zeth next time. Cool. We've never been to Zeth. We just know some of the characters. I wonder how many uh, Kachiko variants are gonna be in Zeth. Tons of visual novels and a road day available at Monde Gamer. Support Monde Gamer again. I do like them. You know, controversial translations for rants, but at least they're releasing some sort of translation for rants games. And they also do Higurashi, so. Again, two major pieces of this channel. Probably wouldn't be up without them, honestly. So, thank you, Monde Gamer. Thank you. There, that's it. Thank you for looking. Please check them out if you're interested. Ka, ka. All right, what's in the suspicious jar? Mm, this is sort of an incomprehensible corner. What? All right. Let's look at Haniwa nonsense. Hello, I'm Tada, and I was in charge of development. Um, it's my first Alice's Mansion in a while, so I'm nervous. It's a waste of time, but please hear my stupid talk. Okay, this is the... This is the lore we need. The Road to 5D. Rance 5 is finally complete. It was a long road. Rance 5's development started a lot... Started a super long time ago. After Kichito, development started on a large-scale RPG. I think we planned for four people to handle the art and three to write the script. But a lot of things happened and it failed. I can't tell you the reason. Okay. It was a bit of a disaster since it was such a big project with the company's future riding on it. Oh no, again, I know Kachito got them out of the out of the trenches. So I uh, hopefully they had like I mean obviously they had a bit enough uh backfall now because of Kachiko. I felt pretty emotionally defeated and I wondered if the whole company was done at a wonder again. But I managed to turn 
myself around and somehow and started planning a new Rance 5. But that fizzled out too, though it was only my planning so the damage was minimal. Then after a while I tried to start it up again as a final challenge. We cut down the size and the staff of the game to half of the initial plan. The content of the game changed a lot too, and the system. Everything went along pretty smoothly. But we had to toss it. I can't tell you why. Okay, <laughs> it's cursed. Right, someone did inform me that 5D stands for, uh, this is the fourth version of the game. Because there's 5A, which is just 5, I guess, 5B, 5C, and 5D is the, the cut that made it. Crap, we're doomed. Then, that other company isn't releasing 5 either, the number 5 is cursed. I don't know the reference. Rent is done for, we decided to make a new series and started on Daya Kuji. After Daya Kuji, we decided to make something small. Excuse me, what's Daya Kuji? I need the, I need the lore. Daya Kuji. Daya Kuji, great big bad guy. Is a strategy game. Uh, world conquering strategy game. I've never heard of this ranch game. Like, I heard of, uh, I guess that's a whole series, huh? <laughs> like, I heard of, um, the, the ninja one. We just saw the translation, too. Not English translated. Well, unlucky. <laughs> if it was small, maybe it would work. We didn't have the willpower or the material to put into another ambitious RPG anymore. We've had three tries already, three tries that had been buried in the darkness of the past. But it was a stupid but if it was a stupid little game. We decided we were afraid of failure, so we decided to make it the smallest number of staff possible smallest possible number of staff. And we somehow managed to complete it. Phew The title is 5D because of this history. It means that we failed versions were 5A, 5B, and 5C, and this one is 5D. Ha, uh, how pathetic. Let's ch change things up next time. Rant sits will have a simple system, but a giant scale and will be really fun to play. I'm excited we're going back to a bigger story, too. Even though the story was good here. Road to 5D, luck and calculations. Okay, let's do this then. 5D's a dice game. Or rather, a game where everything is left to random numbers. You can make slight adjustments, but it's really based on luck. Um, excuse me? I'm... I think my playthrough indicates otherwise, that there's... You just need to be a god gamer for, for the good rolls. Calculations were a big part of the a game I made before, Type 0. This time, it's the opposite. Everything revolves around luck. Rolling dice, doubles. All right, I've never thought I'd win, but I did. That's the kind of feeling I wanted to produce. It's ambitious, but I don't think most people felt that way. Reachies did feel really good though, I will say. That's probably the most fun for the dice roll, which, you know, it's the roulette wheel, but still, that I felt pretty happy with. I guess I'd beaten Dark Sunflower turn one. First try was also pretty good. <laughs> I guess like beating the last boss too did feel really hype with the good rolls. RPGs lately have a lot of planning so that you can only have a certain type of equipment or level at each part. That's true. Lots of the time, the order of events that occur in the dungeon is predetermined. That's true. Adventuring was fun. You know, you can say it's frustrating trying to roll for what you want, but um, it did feel pretty dynamic in what you get for a while obviously it gets a little repetitive but but that's not very exciting you and other people end up playing the game the exact same way with systems where you have to use your head everything's limited for the sake of balance for good reasons i think you know i wanted to make something you could look at someone else playing after the fact and go wow you can do it like that Something that had different paths and for the different people who played it. That's what I was thinking about when I designed this system. 
It's a weird game. It's not really even a game. You're mostly just watching it. True. <laughs> Most games are designed with success in mind, but in this game, if you succeed, you're lucky. Please don't get annoyed if you fail or things don't go well. If there aren't failures, it's not fun to luck out and succeed. Okay, thank you, Tata. The legend. Bye-bye. Mm, this is sort of an incomprehensible corner. So these are all developers. Orion Nonsense. Oh, giant chin dude. Oh, so these are... um. Oh, what are their names? Isn't it like Liz something? <laughs> Kim Cheese Delicious Kaboom. And now I've been healed. My attack went up 50% too. Thank you. Oh, I can kind of see it. Less Lassiel and Haz Haziel, I think. Hey, I'm Orion. I'm the latest and dirtiest guy in the art world. Oh, kit, 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 kit. Well then, go ahead and pick, or you, you could not pick. It's okay, 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 just to leave too. Oh, so there may be a little spoilers in here, so maybe you should read it after you finish your game. Work, play, background here. Work. Work, eh? Have some more choices then. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Original art. I was offered this job while I was in the middle of working on Daiakuji. Orion-kun, do rants. It was something like that. At first, I was like, has he snapped? I mean, seriously, Tada-san, Rance is like the poster game for our company, and you want me to do it? When I asked, he said the concept this time was stupid, so it came to the stupidest artist to do stupid rants. Stupid? Anyway, I did the original art while under so much pressure, I thought I might die. No, seriously, I almost did. Anyway, it has to look good. That I was, that's what I was thinking, so there's a lot of weird stuff that ended up in it because of that. I knew I was gonna have to color them, so I didn't put that much detail into them, and I had to do the backgrounds too. This is so much work. But you know, I was happy to get the opportunity to draw rants. Everybody knows the cool rants from Kachiko, but I really like the mood in rants too, so I made them uncool. <laughs> Well, please just play it with the casual thought of, I guess an Orion Rance is okay too. Jawa! I feel bad that I wasn't able to draw it very subtly though. I'll try harder next time. Honestly, I thought the art was pretty good in this. CGs. I used, I'm used to coloring my own drawings, but I'm not used to standing or... F not used to standing or face sprites. You want me to color all the visuals? Frankly, I'm not a CG artist. I think... I didn't think I'd be able to color everything well, but I'd done Red Thunder before, so I decided to do as I liked, and I went with a positive outlook. Well, I tried to make everything look good as I could, but what do you think? CG's were good. I'll just talk about the main characters. Oh man, there's so much rants. The concept of was rants too. Looks a little sleepy normally and has a bunch of expressions and a big mouth. I wanted his armor to look lame, so I went with the gray, ironish, lame thing instead of the Tachito version. I'm not good at the weird hair thing, so I made it kind of even. Maybe silk and cut it for him? I liked his hair better than the Tachito thing, honestly. It was kind of a... It was a really different looking Tachito. Oh, I decided he liked to do it from behind, too. It has a sense of contrast to it, so I thought he'd like it. Sil? I like the afro hair, so I revived it. It's hard to get the shadows right, and her hair takes up the whole face CG. She's a different... She's a difficult character to draw, and I can't draw her cutely often. I fits and fits and still don't like some of the art. Is this the pressure? Her clothes are a little poor looking this time, I guess. That's what I was going for, at least. How did I do? Rizna. She's a new character, so I wanted to give her a lot of impact, so she's got a long blonde hair and wears a kimono. She was super annoying to draw. <laughs> I tried to draw in her with short hair too, but it just it didn't really look right, so... Anyway, she was a character who was difficult to draw and difficult to color. I'll be happy if people liked her enough to make up for that. Best character? Athena? <laughs> I really didn't grasp... I don't mean best. Second best is Sil's number one. But, you know, 
that's just common sense. <laughs> I couldn't really grasp her. She's supposed to be a cute character, but she didn't really come out right. I wonder why. The SD looks easy though. That was easy. I like art really like that. Kopadan. Her hair's a little like still, so I try to make it like they were distinct from each other. I decided her design in one try. She was an easy character. Maybe I decided too quickly though. Maybe I should have given her a few more parts. Well, we know she has fans, so you did fine, brother. I like her. I like Athena too, but I like Phallus more. You're a weirdo. People do like Phallus, because our one video with the Phallus thumbnail is now the most viewed video on the channel, so... That's, that's a popular opinion. I didn't want to change her design that much, and she gave off a tall impression in Rand's 4, so she got some height. She did? I don't remember. Non-human characters are great. They're easy to draw, really. She changed a little with her eye color and the color of her clothes, but I think she still looks the same. And that's why I think she came out the best. Oh god. Wait, yeah, we already did this. Car wait, wait, where am I going? I'm lost. Get me out of here. Play. I bought some toys and my room got smaller. I've got a lot of Gundams. The US is nice. I also like M the MS... MSIA a lot. Did I almost got into Gunplus when I was like super into Gundam Build Fighters? I even bought a red Zaku, but I only like did 50% of it and now it's just eternally in its box, so. But yeah, Gunplus is a fun hobby, for sure. I bought Monta and my room got smaller. It's a little late, but I've gotten really into Coqueta Maya and I bought all of her currently published stuff. It's good. The Mightiest Disciple, now Kenichi, is fun too. It's good. Kenichi's a good manga, man. I bought games and my room got smaller. I try not to let too many games go unplayed when I buy them, but Fantasy Star Online's gonna come out. Never really my thing. It hasn't been released yet while I'm writing this, though. Will my days be filled with nothing but it again? Whoa, help me, I'm sorry. Please help me, nothing fits in my room anymore. Yeah, it's all falling now. Dead? Help me. Actually dead? Did I die? Everyone be careful not to buy too many toys, books, and games for your health. No background here. Yeah, why are you, why are you repping these characters? Oh, we just get to see it. La Cizo and La Hazel. Two fun, two demon Demon Lords? Dark Lords? Dark Lords. <laughs> you know, even I don't remember what they're originally called anymore. It's Seizo and Hazel. It's a branch of the refined corner of the bulletin, I guess. There was also no Kachito characters this time, so I drew them since I figured I, <laughs> I wouldn't get another chance. Aww. They're about the size of the 5D status screen sprites. I wonder if, uh, does this guy... Do, do artwork on any of the other Rant series? Maybe not. <laughs> I don't know if they were just memeing putting him on just because it's a small project. Personally, I think they're drawn pretty well, but they look different. They, they, they definitely look different than Tachiko. More so than like any of the other characters I think he drew. I tried changing their designs a bunch to make them modern. Like short-haired Saizo. They should look like this next time they show up in Rants. Yeah, so I just noticed I had the fan on the whole time, so audio is probably shit. Classic. At least it's just a bonus video. So I just got short hair and a mini storage. She's only got green on her tie and wings. I guess she's a little lighter. She looks pretty different now. I also got long hair and looks quieter now. But I changed her designs a lot, and yet they kind of give the same impression, huh? The coloring's hard. But their physiques changed, their wings got smaller, and their art changed a lot. Hmm. I don't I don't think I like the small wings. It looks, it looks weird. It looks like they won't be able to fly. Do they look a bit more finalized now? Oh, that's right. I don't like drawing the lower eyelashes anymore. Nowadays. Nobody needs those. Seriously. Am I in trouble? What do you think? Am I okay? I'm always being influenced by all sorts of things, so I may be saying something completely different tomorrow. Alright, thank you, buddy. I'm right behind you. Well then. 
We got Kuri Bayashi. Hey, it's Kuri Bayashi. They were not in this game. Scariest enemies. Oh, I had caps lock on. Let's try that again. Hey, it's Kuri Bayashi. Thanks for buying Rance 5D. Thanks more for playing it. Thanks again if you enjoyed it. About chops. Kuri Bayashi did all sorts of stuff this time, but my biggest job was delivering chops to Tada-san. At first, I didn't know how much strength I should put into it, so I consulted with Purin-san and Tori-san. Thanks to them, I'm pretty confident in my chops. That's a lie, I'm still way too easy on them. My most recent chop was about this, actually. Tada-san forgot about Alice's mansion. Chop! Chop, 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 chop! With a flurry of super chops, we were successfully created Alice's mansion. Banjai, banjai. Banjai? About Kurapis. Actually, Kurabayashi here wrote the Kurapis text. Yo, it's my second work after Burrow Burrow. This is the... This is the visionary behind the Kurapis events. Kurapiston, planet Kurapiston. Honestly, great job. It was super entertaining. I tried to write a stupid story that surpassed Burrow Burrow, but I failed. It hasn't surpassed it at all. I don't know what Burrow Burrow is. When I was writing per story, I read over Burrow Burrow and La Fundoshi again. I read over game scripts I'd created in secret. I like to show them someday and feared my old self. He's an idiot. It's me, though. A real idiot. It's me, though. So, cheers and cheers to my old self. Alright, thank you. And our final eye is the Moomin. What the fuck is that? <laughs> Big ass hippo. Appears with a flash. Resolves with a flash. I'm the Flashatrine monster. I feel like something was wrong about that. Anyway, I'm Moomin, hello. My job was battle related programming. I didn't really do anything difficult though. It was super easy since all the regular programmers made the basic system already. The sprites and effects were really well done, so it looks like so let's tour without any special code. Spaints. Anyway, the battle system is completely unprecedented. When I heard Tadasan's specifications, I doubted my eyes and ears. Seriously? Seriously. And he really was serious. <laughs> But I was like, well, it's Tadasan, so I'm sure something will work out. And I did my work quite worrylessly. Now, this battle system, which can influence the location of each still and party member. At first, you don't appear to have any control at it all, but there are some really. But there are really some tricks to this. In some cases, just changing out your second and third character can make a huge difference. Anyway, try a bunch of different stuff! Runs with a flash. This was Moomin. Alright. True. Well, I don't think you really need to change parties besides the last monster. Okay. That was, that was Alice's Mansion. Nothing else to do? What's the website, though? Monda Gamer Rants. What is Rants? All the games? They have Legacy of the Set? Or is this just like a timeline to follow? Yeah, this is the canon timeline. Sengoku, Rance Quest, Helminian Revolution, and X. Okay, guys, this was a bonus video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. It was pretty fun. We got some some Alice Soft lore. And yeah, a review tomorrow. Then we start Rance It's Next Week. Should be fun. See you then. Peace.